there about a half an hour ago, and I... No, I don't think you understand. I'm hosting the 2005 MTV Movie Awards. Yes, MTV has movie awards. Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, okay, well, just get the car here pronto, okay? Because I have to be there... Soon. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Whoa! Batman? Freaking Batman by Ryan? How cool is that? Dude, I totally have your face all over my underpants. Stay calm. Uh, yeah. Totally calm. Everybody calm. That's great. Totally cool. Hey, everybody! I'm in a car with Batman! I have his face all over my underpants! Woo! Hey, do you mind if I get a picture of you? My friends are never going to believe this. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Wait. I pressed the wrong button. Smile. My bad. He is in a vehicle. Color. That's a black tank. I'm on him. That makes two of us, because I'm also on him, too, as well. Over! <laughs> nice. That was, that, that, someone was hurt in that one. <laughs> Who is this guy? I don't know, but he's in a tank. Tank man? Does that sound right? Hey, there goes tank man. Just tank around town. Over. Breathe slowly. Breathe, breathe slowly. Why, why? Oh, that, oh. You've been poisoned. That's putting it lightly. Where's the AC? Driving with crazy person might be late. Frowny face exclamation point. Send. Dude, you missed the spot back there if you want. Hold on. Okay, well, you got it. That was smooth, yeah. Turn off your engine. Step away from the car. All right, look, Batman, you're my hero, okay? But you're driving. Where are you going? Oh, the Batman dog. What are the odds? No, 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 no! He's flying on rooftops! He's flying on rooftops! That's what I just said, Phil! After three decades of work and over 10,000 shingles laid by hand, I'm finally a done. Cause you a tank man! You know, this is a pretty comfortable ride, even though you're hitting everything you see. Air one on the ground. We've lost visual. We made it. Stay with me. Stay with you in what sense? Holy awkward moment, Batman. Stop! What are you doing? Stop! They hate to quit it! Stop! I mean, what kind of superhero are you anyway? The kind that gets you the movie awards on time? Gosh! Napoleon Dynamite? Yes. Who'd you think was Batman? Superman? No, why would it be Superman? That's stupid. You're stupid. No, well, not you are. Whatever. Just don't tell anyone I'm Batman or I'll kill you with my superpowers. Batman doesn't have any superpowers. What are you, some kind of Batman expert? I have buttloads of powers. Like rock climbing powers, samurai sword powers, hang gliding powers. This sweet arm blade. Hey, look, Napoleon, I gotta go host the movie awards. Fine, then go. Wait, can you do just one thing for me? What's that? Be a flippin' awesome host. Yeah, my word. Thanks for the ride, man. The show is gonna be incredible.
is the 2005 MTV Movie Awards. With appearances by Jessica Alba, Jessica B. Sandra Bullock, Michael Chitlis, Jennifer Connelly, Leonardo DiCaprio, Tom Cruise, Vin Diesel, Hillary Duff, Chris Evans, Dakota Fan, Ryan Gosling, John Griffin, John Heater, Emil Hirsch, Justin Hoffman, Katie Holmes, Terrence Howard, Samuel L. Jackson, Nicole Kidman, Johnny Knoxville, Lindsay Lohan, Justin Law, Rachel McAdams, Julian McMahon, Ava Mendez, Chris Rock, The Rock, Adam Sandler, Rob Schneider, Sean William Scott, Jessica Simpson, Ben Stiller, Hillary Swank, Paul Walker, Owen Wilson, Vince Paul, Z.E. Jean, and a tribute to The Breakfast Club with live performances by Mariah Carey, Eminem, Foo Fighters, and Yellow Card, and hosted by Jimmy Fallon, the 2005 MTV Movie Awards. Ladies and gentlemen, your host, Jimmy Fallon. Welcome to the 2005 MTV Movie Awards. We're here. Great to be here in LA hosting the Movie Awards. I'm not pleased with my accommodations. MTV put me up at the Hotel Rwanda. <laughs> not fun. Not fun. Big summer movies are out. Star Wars Episode 3. Very big. On the first midnight showing, they made $16.5 million. That night, so many nerds left the house that the internet stopped. <laughs> Another big hit, The Pacifier, made $110 million. $110 million. That means 10 million people said, hmm, Vin Diesel and a duck? Yes, please, here's my $10. <laughs> Maybe I should have put a duck in taxi. I don't know. <laughs> All the great actors are here. We got Hilary Swank here, two-time Oscar winner. Awesome, beautiful. She won two Oscars for Boys Don't Cry, A Million Dollar Baby. She's great. I always say, no one gets beaten to death like Hilary Swank. I've said that for a year. What else is going on? Christian Slater was arrested for grabbing a woman's ass on the New York street. I guess his old pickup line doesn't work like it used to. Greetings and salutations. How'd you like to get your ass pinched by the guy from Young Guns 2? <laughs> there are a lot of movies coming out that are inspired by old TV shows. Bewitched, The Honeymooners. And next year, Paris Hilton will star in Leave it to Beaver. It should be really good. It should be a fantastic, fantastic film. It's gonna be a good year for Paris. She got engaged to a guy named Paris Latsis. The two have already sold the movie rights to this story. It's called Herpes Fully Loaded. Good name, good title. I'm not saying Paris loves herself, but she's marrying a flat-chested, bleach-blonde rich kid named Paris. That would be like if I married a tall, skinny, goofy girl with bushy eyebrows named Jimma. You mean my girlfriend, Jimma? Chris Rock, he had two huge movies out right now. Chris Rock has two huge movies out right now. He was an inmate in The Longest Yard and the voice of a zebra in Madagascar. Rock said, America likes to see a black man in two ways, in jail or in a zoo. As long as he's behind bars. <laughs> Which brings me to our first two presenters. These guys are idols of mine. I'll watch them every Saturday night on Saturday Night Live and think I gotta get on that show. I arrived there a little late, but they've always treated me like part of the family. Two of the nicest, coolest, funniest guys I've ever met. Stars of the Longest Yard, Chris Rock and Adam Sandler! Thank 
Jimmy Fallon. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, okay. Well, okay. All right, Sandler, let's tell these people what makes a great on-screen team. Yes, Rock. It's best when each member of the duo brings something different to the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta mix it up a little, like uh, me. I I'm black. And me, I'm white. And me, you know, I like jello and I, my, I, I, I like pudding. Right, right. And my, my favorite baseball team is the New York Yankees. And I like big bouncy jugs. <laughs> the nominees for best on screen team are. Yes. Best on screen team. I'm a hot girl. The plastics. Mean girls. I can't help it that I'm popular. You're getting on my last nerve. The Incredibles. Oh, no I'm so worried about I'll never you. see you again. The Channel 4 News Team. To the news van. Anchorman. I'm a news van. Bear bite. Oh, yay! You guys suck. Joe. Thank you. Nice, nice to be in Vegas. Dodgeball. One, two, three, Joe's. Dodgeball. Mike and the tip. This is the stupidest thing that we have ever tried. John Cho and Cal Penn. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. <laughs> I've never hang glided before. I want 30 sliders, five french fries, and four large cherry cokes. I want the same except make mine diet. <laughs> Um, we want to thank all of the fans for seeing the movie and for voting for us. And I don't know. And, and, and Lizzie and Daniel and Jonathan for everyone else being involved. amazing. Um, Lauren Michaels, Tina Fey for writing an amazing script. Mark Everyone Waters. at Paramount, Mark Waters, um, great person, great director. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. <laughs> I just wanted to say that, Lacey, this is for you. Um, this is so fetch. Presenting on the MTV Movie Awards. I mean, let's go hit it. Let's hit the crack pipe. Now. Let's go do it. Yeah. All right. All right. Coming up: Nicole Kidman, Vin Diesel, Jennifer Connelly, and a performance by Eminem. The 2005 MTV Movie Awards. Hey guys, how are y'all? Brought to you by dermatologist recommended Neutrogena. Pontiac, 10 models, each one designed for action. Dr. Pepper and your local bottler, one taste and you get it. And by Virgin Mobile, 10 cent minutes for just 35 cents. You guys don't know this, but uh, inside that Godzilla costume, Dame Judi Dench. Work is work. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from the pacifier, Vin Diesel, and from Dark Water, Jennifer Connelly! Vin and I are presenting a very cool award, Best Villain. Now, only at the movie awards will you find all these nominees in this category. A hitman, a ghoul, an evil jock, Doc Ock, and, some may say, the most sinister force of terror in the known universe, a mean girl. A mean girl. I know a lot of them. <laughs> Best villain. Tom Cruise. 
You just met him once and you kill him like that? But I should only kill people after I get to know them. Jim Carrey. I am Count Olaf. Lemony Snicket. You are so deceased. Rachel McAdams. <laughs> mean Girls. You know what everyone says about you? They say that you're a homeschooled jungle freak. Yeah, take that fake apology and shove it right up your hair. You ready for the boom? Ben Stiller. Hurricane. Dodgeball. Break it, bro! Cram it up your cram hole in the floor. Alfred Molina, Spider-Man 2. Where is she? Let's talk. And the winner for best villain is... Ben Stiller! Thank you. Wow, thank you. This is a great, uh, great honor to get this award. Um, we had a great time making the movie. I want to thank the director and writer, Ross and Marshall Thurber, who um, did an incredible job his first time out. Great cast, great crew. Uh, it was really fun, and I'm just, uh, I'm proud to get this award. Uh, thank you. Um, hey, you know, I know this is, um, I know it's a fun night. Everybody's having a good time. Uh, but I want to take a second here while I got the microphone to talk about a real villain that's out there amongst us. High cholesterol. <laughs> take a look at this little fella. He's killed more people than all the Hollywood bad guys combined. Crush cholesterol now! Thank you. Oh, look at this. Lindsay Lohan. How beautiful. I've seen all of your movies, you know. I love them so much, I'm going to see them again. Only this time, I won't fall asleep during them. No, I joke, I joke. Seriously, though. You like remaking movies. First, Freaky Friday. Then, Herbie Lovebug. What are you going to remake next? Glitter? <laughs> I kid, I kid! Really, really, when are we going to make a movie together? No. I'll set up the tripod and make sure the night vision is on. Oh, baby, yes. Oh, baby. Ah, uh. baby. you shake it. I can't believe it. I ain't never seen that. The way you move it, you make my freaky I don't believe it. It's almost too good to be true. I ain't never seen that. The way you move it, you make my freaky The way she moves, she's like a ballet dancer. She's shaking her ass to the new belly jams. I think someone's at the door, but I don't think I'm an answer. Only saying freeze. The going, going, going. I thought I'd been, I'm sorry, please, please forgive, for I'm trying to put it off. I am a mean puppet, I can get away with anything I say, you will love it. The way you shake it, I can't believe it, I ain't never seen a ass like that. The way you move it, you make my slinky go. Going, going, going. Just like a Simpson, look so for Simpson, make I ain't never seen a ass like that. Every time I see this show on MTV, my sneaky goes. Going, going, going. MTV! Yeah! Yeah. yeah. I know sometimes things may not always make sense to you right now.
But what daddy always tell you? Straighten up, little soldier. Stiffen up that upper lip. What you crying about? You got me. Haley, I know you miss your mom, and I know you miss your dad when I'm gone, but I'm trying to give you the life that I never had. I can see you sad, even when you smile, even when you laugh, I can see it in your eyes. Deep inside, you wanna cry, cause you're scared. I ain't there, daddy's with you in your prayers. No more crying, wipe them tears. Daddy's here, no more nightmares. We gon' pull together through it, we gon' do it. Plain your uncle's crazy, he ain't here, but he loves you, girl, and you better know it. What all we got in this world, when it spins, when it swirls, when it whirls, when it twirls. Two little beautiful girls, looking puzzled in it. Days. I know it's confusing you, daddy's always on the move, mama's always on the news I try to keep you sheltered from it, but somehow it seems The harder that I try to do that, the more it backfires on me All the things growing up as daddy, daddy had to see Daddy don't want you to see, but you see just as much as he did We did not plan it to be this way, your mother and me But things have got so bad between us, I don't see us ever being together ever again like we used to be when we was teenagers But then of course everything always happens for a reason I guess it was never meant to be But it's just something we have no control over And that's what destiny is But no more worries, rest ahead and go to sleep Maybe one day we'll wake up and it's all gonna just be a dream Now hush, little baby, don't you cry Everything's gonna be alright Stepping at a bullet fuck, little lady I told ya, daddy's here to hold ya through the night I know mommy's not here right now Let me tell you now how we feel inside It may seem a little crazy Pretty baby But I promise Mama's gonna be alright And if you ask me to Daddy's gonna buy you a mockingbird I'ma give you the world I'ma buy a diamond ring for you I'ma sing for you I'll do anything for you To see you smile And if that mockingbird don't sing And that ring don't shine I'ma break that party's neck I go back to the jeweler Who sold it to ya And they can meet every carrot Don't f*** with that from the 2005 MTV Movie Awards continues. Go behind the scenes at the MTV Movie Awards at MTV.com. This next presenter, I love her work, even though she hasn't returned a single one of my phone calls, or emails, or text messages, or postcards, or telegrams, or letters. From Bewitched, please welcome Nicole Kidman! secret if you can't remember your lines write them on your hand so <laughs> in an actor's career there is only one breakthrough role and that is the instant when critics colleagues fans recognize your talent and decide that you have arrived so to all the female nominees for best breakthrough performance congratulations and enjoy it have some fun <laughs> So here are your leading ladies of tomorrow. Breakthrough female performance. Rachel McAdams, the Mean Girls. You look really pretty. Thank you. You agree? What? You think you're really pretty? Ashanti, Coach yeah. Carter. I don't care what you say. I'm having this baby. And then what? Alicia Cuthbert, the girl next door. Why didn't you just tell me? Because I love the way you looked at me. God, do you have any idea how... Forget it. Bryce Dallas Howard, The Village. If he dies, all that is left to me will die with him. <laughs> Take her! Take her! Emmy Rossum, The Day After Tomorrow. Everything I've worked for has all been preparation for a future that no longer exists. McAdams, Mingo.
if I've arrived, but uh, wherever this is, it's, it's really nice to be here. Uh, so thanks for voting for me uh, for this great award. Uh, I really want to thank Mark Waters and um, Tina Fey and Lorne Michaels uh, and all the people at MTV. And uh, I guess this sort of dispels uh, any myth that Canadian girls are really nice. <laughs> so uh, thank you. I will take this home with pride. Thanks. of the Fantastic Four, Jessica Alba, Michael Chiklis, Chris Evans, Johan Griffith, and Julian McMahon. Breakthrough mail would be much easier if we used our Fantastic Four superpowers. Yeah, as a human torch, I could burn the envelope open to read the winners. As Mr. Fantastic, I could stretch my elastic arm and present the award to the winner before he even leaves his seat. Oh, as the incredibly powerful thing, I could pick up the losers and hurl them out of the theater. <laughs> and as the invisible woman, I can create a force field around the winner to protect him from all of his crazy screaming fans. <laughs> Yes, and I play Dr. Doom. <laughs> and Dr. Doom is more powerful than all of you. <laughs> Here are the nominees. Breakthrough male performance. John Heater. Okay, turn it on. Napoleon Dynamite. Man, how many good skills? Oh, how did you go in to quote a piece of crap? <laughs> Tim McGraw. Friday Night Lights. You sit down here to learn how to play football. <laughs> you have not. And I gotta take that as a personal failure. Zach Braff, Garden State. And I'm not gonna take those drugs anymore. They let me completely numb. I have felt so numb to everything I've experienced in my life, okay? And for that, for that, I'm here to forgive you. Tyler Perry. Diary of a mad black woman. I'm calling the police. I ain't scared of no popo. Call the popo, huh? Freddie Highmore, Finding Neverland. I'm sure it was so horrible. I thought she'd always be here. Fantastic Four? Let's hear it. And the breakthrough male performance goes to Open Envelope. John Header, Napoleon Dynamite. trophy slash award ever. Um, I, wow, this is great. Thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, whoa, there's people up above. Um, I'm really nervous. I will thank you to the voters and the fans especially. Um, Especially Jared Hess, uh, writer and director, for meeting me and saying hi to me at college and putting me in this awesome movie, this really funny movie. And, uh, and <laughs> oh. uh, I want to thank my wife and for all the support she gave me. And once again, the fans, you guys are awesome. Thank you. Rob 
Schneider, Eva Mendez, Hillary Swank honors The Breakfast Club. I'm a big Molly Ringwald fan. And a performance by Mariah Carey. Watch it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. The 2005 MTV Movie Awards, brought to you by dermatologist recommended Neutrogena, Pontiac, 10 models, each one designed for action. Dr. Pepper and your local bottler, one taste and you get it. And by Virgin Mobile, 10 cent minute for just 35 cents a day. Terribly sweet deal in a kick-ass place floating in lava. You ever see his path? It's a dump. He wants to help you. Yeah, you know, Obi-Wan tried to help me hook up my stereo system. I ended up with this. So, uh, tell him no thanks. Spring Frank's going, Frank's going, Frank. They said you turned to the dark side. Yeah, it's called the tan. I live in a lava planet. They said that you killed younglings. Again, I killed at younglings. Younglings Asian Comedy Club? The most kick-ass Asian comedy club in the galaxy. I got to try out my Jack Black impression. Dude. I don't know you anymore. Rock! Dude, rock. I don't believe what I'm hearing. <laughs> I'm kidding. I never did stand-up. Do you want a hot beer or something? I just dropped it like it's hot. You know what I'm talking about? When I see it, try to get it, you. Drop it like it's hot. When I look, you get an attitude. Drop it like it's hot. Look. Come, your father. Anakin, all I want is your love. And all I want is to stop the lava from coming in my bedroom. It's hot. It's, it's, it's dangerous. Anakin. OK, OK, you hate the lava planet, OK? But you'll get used to it. I do stuff for you that I'm not into. I watch The Notebook, and now it's my favorite movie. Come away with me. Leave everything else behind while we still can. Seriously, watch the hair, okay? I just had it feathered. I don't believe what I'm hearing. Hope your mom was right. You've changed. I'll tell you one thing I haven't changed. That's my making out style. No, don't do this. What, no kiss? What am I, chop lava? Thank you. Panic. Breaking my heart. Why are you in freak mode? Because of what you've done. What you plan to do. It's gonna be great. We'll put a baby crib down by the lava river. I mean, make it like a tiki type of cabana thing. Put in some drink holders like this. Uh, no, maybe we'll make them smaller, like this. We have the big ones. We have the small ones. No. Or maybe go with the big. I, I can't. Hold, will you stop with your gurgling? Because I can't. I have a hard time making a decision right now. Let her go, Anakin. Oh, I'm so sorry. I forgot to turn off the force. My bad. Wait, why is Obi-Wan wearing my bathrobe? How long have you been listening, Obi-Wan? Did you hear me say I like the notebook? Because I don't. I see you got barbecue sauce on my bathrobe. You have done that yourself. I think I'd remember. I'm very neat. And we both know I don't eat barbecue. I absolutely don't eat barbecue. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. A Sith? A Sith. What the fifth? A Sith. Fifth? A Sith. That's a pretty nasty lift you have there. You might want to do something about that. I will do what I must. I must warn you. I'm very good at backflips. <laughs> I, uh, believe I overshot my target. And I'm on fire. Please welcome Goose Bigelow, European Gigolos, Rob Schneider. And from Ghost Rider, Eva Mendez. Hi. Hi. We're here to 
present the award for best comedic performance. And I'm sure I speak for Rob when I say that we're very happy to be here. That's right, and I'm sure I speak for Eva when I say she's extremely attracted to me. And I'm sure I speak for Rob when I say he's right. I am extremely attracted to him. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure I speak for Eva when I say I find it hard to believe. Ah, and I'm sure I speak for Rob when I say hurry up and present these nominees and I'll prove it to you backstage. <laughs> Come on. And I'm sure I speak for Eva when I say here are the nominees for best comedic performance. Best comedic performance. Will Ferrell, Anchorman. I'm Ron Burgundy and this is what's happening. I love Scott. You have a massive erection. Mm. Oh, this is awkward. Dustin Hoffman. One and partner. Meet the fuckers. You believe I can save him with one testicle? Imagine if I had two. Oh. Antonio Banderas. Shrek 2. <laughs> Pray for mercy from Puss. The mood. Will Smith. Hitch. Is it itchy in here or is it just me? Wow. It is not that serious. Oh! Yeah! Ben Stiller. Oh! Dodgeman. <laughs> I'm just doing my job. We should mate. Yeah. Ah, no! Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody! And the best comedic performance goes to... Dustin Hoffman, Meet the Fockers. gratified that I'm the first person up here that doesn't have to bend down to the microphone. <laughs> I'd also like to thank MTV for putting me in the first row. The Academy never did that. <clears throat> I want to thank all you MTV fans for reconnecting me to the younger generation. And I want to stay connected. And i trying to figure out how to do that as I was sitting there. I noticed Eminem up here. He, he touched himself about 37 times. <clears throat> <clears throat> and in that spirit, I'd like to thank Universal. <clears throat> I'd like to thank DreamWorks. I want to thank Bob De Niro, Barbara Streisand, Ben Stiller. I want to thank my kids, my wife. Thank you all. one of the hottest performers who currently has the number one album in the country right now. She's here to perform the number one song, We Belong Together. Please welcome the talented, the beautiful, the one and only, Miss Mariah Carey!
Male performance, the star of Crash and Miss Congeniality 2, Sandra Bullock. Sandra, Jimmy. Uh, all right, this is gonna be it's gonna be fun. All right, I'm gonna teach you an improv game. Okay, great. How how does it go? All right, here's what I do. I, I stand behind you. And I move my arms around. Okay, and you. You pretend they're your arms, and we make improv comedy. Okay. okay. All right. Great. All right. Let's 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 do it. Do it. All right. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay. I am so excited to be here this evening to present the award for best male performance. All of the nominees were in wonderful films such as Ray, Hitch, Troy. Uh, the Aviator, 
Um, and the... <laughs> Sorry, I have a, a bit of a cold. Um, and uh, Born Supremacy. Uh, they all deserve to win, but... Oh, come on! Come on! What? Come on! <laughs> you don't like... That? You don't like comedy? No. You don't like okay, comedy? Okay, let me switch it up. Let's switch it up, okay? Let me switch it up. <laughs> all right. <laughs> How you guys doing tonight? A little crazy here at MTV. Woo! <laughs> look at you. You got that thing there, and you're, over, you're great. Yeah, you look great. They, uh, <laughs> let me think about something. Uh, uh, look at that. Ha <laughs> uh, <laughs> Best. I had the best male performance. Why? <laughs> I have the envelope right here in my front pocket. <laughs> oh. The nominees are... Best Male Performance. Matt Damon, The Born Supremacy. When was I here in Berlin? You've never worked Berlin before. <laughs> I know I was here. Leonardo DiCaprio, the aviator. Fastest man on the planet. I want to see the blueprints again. Show me all the blueprints. Show me all the blueprints. No one sees him like this. Jamie Fox, Ray. Baby, when I walk out that door, I walk out alone in the dark. Will Smith, Hitch. Show me the magic, Albert. Show me the magic. What the hell was that? Brad Pitt. Troy. Immortality. Take it. It's yours. And the best male performance goes to Leonardo DiCaprio, The Aviator. Best male performance. Thank you so much, MTV. I wish I could be there personally to thank you all. Unfortunately, I'm off on location doing a movie. I must say that winning for this film, The Aviator, means a lot to me. But the fact that all you fans voted means a lot more. Because at the end of the day, without all you, None of us schmucks would be actors in the first place. Thanks a lot. Here to present the award for best frightened performance from the boards of Dogtown, Emile Hirsch, and from the upcoming film Stealth, Jessica Biel. In my eye. That was a good jump. Okay, we are here to present a new award this year. The best frightened performance. Emil, who do you think are better at acting scared, men or women? Uh, I guess I'd say women, because you know how guys are. We're too proud to show fear. Yeah. It's like a sign of weakness or something. It looks like you're right, because our nominees are four frightened females. And a dude named Carrie. <laughs> Frightened performance. Sarah Michelle Geller. The Grudge. <laughs> Jennifer Tilly. Seed of Chucky. <laughs> Maya. Hello? Hello, anybody there? Chris. performance goes to Dakota Fanning for hide and seek
to all the fans who voted and to MTV and to all the other nominees who gave such scary performances as well. And um, I thank Fox so much for letting me be in Hide and Seek. And um, the producers, Barry and Joe, for making every day so fun. And I couldn't have done it without the director, John Polson. He was so wonderful. We had such a great time making the movie scary. <laughs> And I know I couldn't have been as scary without Robert De Niro. Um, I was so honored to have been able to work with him. And um, in real life, he's the most wonderful, fantastic, unscary person ever. So I love him to death. And um, there's so many... Yeah, death, right. That's awful. Um, <laughs> And there's so many um, special people, you know, who help me every day to make movies. And um, thank you so much again to all the fans and to MTV. And this is the best popcorn I've ever had. Thanks! Owen Wilson, Vince Vaughn, and a tribute to The Breakfast Club featuring Yellow Card. Big moment in our rock and roll career. And later, Foo Fighters. Here at the MTV Movie Awards, it's kind of a Hollywood scene, and I'm strictly Bally. The 2005 MTV Movie Awards, brought to you by Pontiac. Ten models, each one designed for action. Taco Bell. Think outside the bun. Boreal Paris, because you're worth it. And by Dentine Fire. Go class, something with your GPA. Newsflash, you're in the wrong place. Get the hell out right now. And if you came here looking to party, looking to get drunk, looking to have sex with hot girls, well, guess what? You're in the right place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The class is to teach these kids how to get into parties and what to do once they get in there. You know, contrary to popular belief, there was a time when Owen and I were not celebrities. Uh, we were not extremely wealthy. We didn't have amazing physiques. Always wear sweatpants. That way, if we're getting a lap dance or you're in for a slow dance, the girls know you mean business. For me, it was a passion project. I knew that there were a lot of kids out there that didn't know how to get into parties, and that's what the school is about, giving them the knowledge to succeed. I don't want to leave any child behind. Buckley, go ahead. Have you gotten every girl that you've wanted? No. I haven't gotten every girl I ever wanted. But I have gotten every girl that ever wanted me. <laughs> Once you put your pins down, gentlemen, what we're going to do now is start the role-playing portion of today's class. Let's role play. Let's play as if I'm the role of... Let's... Okay? And then we come together. Marty, it's your job to pick up this fiery redhead, take her home, and nail her in the hot tub. Hey, I have a hot tub with you. I know you're surprised by it. I'm not. I know where he was going with that. There inevitably always is a student that's hard to break. In this case, it's a wild-eyed, innocent little boy named Marty. Marty, can you come up here for a second, please? Get up here, Marty. I'll say it to him. I'll say, hey, Marty, let me say it to class. I don't like you very much. Well, I'm talking, you're listening. And I hate to do that. We're done, horse whispering, little Marty. We're ready to take the show pony out and see if he can jump some gates. And right now, we're ready to take him to the biggest test that we have, the MTV Movie Awards. Thank you. Bring it in. Bring it in. Come here. Come here. Come here. I want your chest down. I want your ass in. It's all about getting past the front door. Don't send off the horny vibe unless you can make it work for you the way I do. Are you ready for this? Yes. I'm not asking you a question. He just asked you a Are question. Are you ready for this? Attention. Yeah. I'm not asking You're you a not question. Gonna make this it. isn't a We're question. Gonna die it's real simple. You pay attention. Stay with me. I love you enough to hurt your feelings, make you question everything you've ever believed in, and then rebuild you in a way that I think is going to be. A successful person uh, surviving out, 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 out in the big hemisphere called America. Or a foreign country, Belgium. You can take these tricks anywhere. Amen. How's it looking there? Let me in. Have some fun, man. Hey, where are you going? Oh, no, it's cool. I'm with them. I want to sleep with y'all. No, I've never seen that kid before in my life. What? I don't care if he lives or dies. No idea. We got a crash here. You gotta learn to run. 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 Wrong way. Wrong way. Run. This way. This way. Mr. Wilson. Uh. Go ahead. 
It's the best part of my job. Mr. Wilson! We were right to betray him with the bouncer because it all paid off. It made him a stronger man. We're in here. That's the important part. Now we just meet the girls. Oh Don't be afraid God. to put your hands on them. Hey, sister, with you guys, you guys are famous. You're celebrities. You Don't say you that. Stop making excuses. That's Don't embarrassing that. to That's be around. Let's see what happens. I'll try it. Oh, this is a big surprise. Big surprise you deserve. Yeah. I'm going to slap you, too. Surprise. It came with a negative That's energy. A big surprise. Come with something positive. Have a connection. Get him out of my sight. Get him out of my sight. Listen to me. Get him out of my sight. Get him out of my sight. I'm sorry. You're right. Whoa, whoa. Stacked at 3 o'clock. Hey, Pam. How are you? Hey. Nice to see you. What's going on? I'm not much. Maybe you'd like to uh, come back to our hot tub. On the beach? Mm, no. It's okay. I'll just be a minute. Take your time. I'm just going to be here hanging out. Uh, hey. Thinking about you and uh, some of the things that could happen. What's your name? God, you are sexy. Oh, come with me. There's something about you that just drives me wild. You want to come to my hot tub on the beach? I'm really good with jacuzzi jets. Yes, Morty left with Pamela Anderson. I didn't want to go with Pamela Anderson. Neither did Vince. Been there, way, done that. A little, 99 problems and a bitch ain't one. A little piece of me and a little piece of Owen did go with Pamela Anderson that night. Yeah. Because Marty went with her. You know, that's... And there's a little right. bit of us inside him. Yeah. I'm sorry. I got a class yeah. to teach. Yeah. Now, here to talk about one of my favorite movies is two-time Academy Award winner, Hilary Swank. A brain, an athlete, a basket case, a princess, a criminal. 20 years ago, five teenagers sat divided in a high school library, condemned to eight hours of detention with nothing to do but figure out who the hell am I? I'm still trying to figure it out and I'm not even in high school. Who couldn't relate to at least one of these five characters? The Breakfast Club is like a great prison movie, except the prison is high school. The warden is a hard-ass teacher named Richard Vernon who tries to divide, conquer, and even humiliate the Breakfast Club. Divided they sat, but united they stood. The situation is fully loaded with great drama, human comedy, and vivid characters familiar to anyone who ever went to high school. Writer-director John Hughes' 1985 classic remains an enduring story reflecting the good, the bad and the ugly of teenage wasteland. Tonight we are here not to punish the Breakfast Club, but to honor it, to etch its name into movie awards history and onto our silver bucket of excellence. But before we do, let us recall together the sights and sounds of the Breakfast Club as we are joined by an inspired band that's reinvented the movie's classic teen anthem, Don't You Forget About Me, for one night only. Ladies and gentlemen, Yellow Card! Well, well, here we are. You have exactly eight hours and 54 minutes to think about why you're here. Any questions? Yeah. Does Barry Manilow know that you raid his wardrobe? Won't you come see about me? I'll be alone dancing, you know. Tell me your troubles and doubts. Giving me everything inside and out. Love strange, so real. Tender things that we're working on The slow change can pull us apart When the light gets into I wear the required uniform. Tights. Shut up. Son, how was your day, pal? Great, Dad. 
You know the guys like you knock everything? It's because you're afraid. Don't mess with the bull, young man. You'll get the horns. I am the eyes and ears of this institution, my friends. Go away. So what's wrong? Parents? Yeah. What do they do to you? They ignore me. family you've got to be number one you don't know any of my friends you don't look at any of my friends and you certainly wouldn't condescend to speak to any of my friends so you just stripped to the things that you know shopping nail polish your father's bmw and your poor rich drunk mother and... <laughs> you just don't understand the pressure that they can put on you mr ryan found a gun in the locker why'd you have a gun in your locker it was a handgun it was a flare gun went off in my locker <laughs> It's not funny. Yes, it is. <laughs> what we found out is that each one of us is a brain. And an athlete. And a basket case. A princess. And a criminal. Sincerely yours. The Breakfast Club. reminds me of how much it inspired me. Ladies and gentlemen, the stars of The Breakfast Club, Molly Ringwald, Ali G, and Anthony Michael Hall. to be a part of this film and just amazed that, I mean, we knew we were doing something great, I think, when we made it. <laughs> Molly Rock! <laughs> Thank you. But I, I just, I had no idea that we would be here 20 years later and, and it would all still mean so much. Um, and I just want to, I just want to thank the fans and, you know, we made this movie for the MTV audience. We didn't make it for critics. We didn't make it for the Oscars. We made it for you. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and I just want to really acknowledge, um, somebody that, uh, should be here. I wish he was here tonight. Um, John Hughes who, you know, without whom we wouldn't be here. You know, he, he wrote an amazing script, and, um, you know, we had such a fantastic time doing this. So, Allie? No, no, Mike's going now. <laughs> Judd and Emilio couldn't be here. They're in Africa with Dave Chappelle. 
but they send their best, and wassalamu alaikum. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. It really means a lot to us. Have a good night. for Best Kiss, and Katie Holmes presents the MTV Generation Award to Tom Cruise when the MTV Movie Awards continues. Hey, great job, Jimmy. Great. I'll see you in the showers. We Did I say that out loud? Go behind the scenes at the MTV Movie Awards. She's my ride home. From Into the Blue, please welcome Paul Walker and from Memoirs of a Geisha, Z.E. Jean. Throughout your life, there are those few kisses that you'll never forget. That first kiss. That uh, good night kiss. That will come back kiss. That award show kiss. Not gonna happen, Paul. Well, no, no tongue, just a little lip lock or something. <laughs> Anyhow, all right, let's take a look at the nominees for the best kiss. Best kiss. Portman and Zach Braff, Garden State. Brian Gosling and Rachel McAdams. I waited for you for seven years. It wasn't over. The Notebook. It still isn't over. Jennifer Garner and Natasha Malt. Electra. Gwyneth Paltrow. And yet one day you can forgive me. And Jude Law. Sky Captain in the World of Tomorrow. Take care of her, Dex. Alicia Cuthbert and Emil Hirsch. Excuse me. The Girl Next Door. The best case goes to someone that's cleaning up tonight. That would be uh, Rachel McAdams and Ryan Gosling for the Nobel. Love him and leave him, huh? Get up here! No, I say so. Look! <laughs> it was my pleasure. Thank you very much, buddy.
Batman Begins, Katie Holmes. Hi. I am here tonight to present the first MTV Generation Award to an extraordinary artist. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Do you people really want the truth? <laughs> Can you handle the truth? Well, the truth is, is that most of us first met this man when he was dancing in his underwear and feeling the need for speed. <laughs> For years, this tremendous movie star and great actor has been taking all of us on a ride of a lifetime. And so, as this maverick prepares to fight the war of the world, the time has come for the MTV generation to honor the career of a man who had a fat hello. Should I go get him?
<laughs> Thank you. How's it going? Good. Well, thank you, MTV. There you are. <laughs> Most of all, thank you all out there. All of you out there. Because you've allowed me to make, make the films that I've wanted to make and to entertain you and to make my dreams a reality. Because <laughs> movies are all, after all, about dreams, about suspending reality, about our imagination. Movies are about our flights of fantasy. And with so much happening in the world today, and everywhere and seemingly all the time, well, you know, believe me, I, uh, I really believe it's the role of the artist to provide that sometimes needed sense of relief from it all, be it joy or happiness, you know, or the roller coaster ride, you know, to thrill our senses. And that is what matters most to me. So, if I've been able to entertain you at all, okay? Then I thank you for allowing me to do so. So, because that's really what I wanted to do. So thank you all very much. Thank you, MTV, and most of all, thank you all. Appreciate it. Jessica Simpson, Samuel L. Jackson, The Rock, and Foo Fighters. I'm gonna rock your ass. I'm pulling something out of my ass right now. When the MTV Movie Awards return. <laughs> what I've been doing on stage for the past. Just some good old boys and their cousin Daisy. She wears some very, 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 very provocative shorts. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Dukes of Hazard, please welcome Johnny Knoxville, Sean Wynn Scott, and Jessica Simpson! you guys but I'm having a great time tonight yeah Woo! in his pants Johnny <laughs> seriously all right I think we're um, here to present best yes. musical performance in a movie <laughs> best musical performance Jennifer Garner and Mark Ruffalo 13 going on 30 the Channel 4 News Team. Sky rockets in flight. Anchorman. Afternoon delight. Whoop. You guys have it, I huh. think. Afternoon delight. Cal Penn and John Cho. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Don't you know? Don't, don't you know? Things will change. Things will go your way. If you hold.
I want to thank MTV again. The fans are awesome. Um, I want to thank, of course, Michael Jackson, John Travolta, Justin Timberlake. Um, but most of all, I want to thank Dequan for making some sweet dance grooves. Thank you. Award for Best Fight, the star of the upcoming film, Doom, The Rock. I remember the wildest fight I ever got in. It was in my hometown of Miami, Florida. The air was hot, and so were the women. I was in a bar, the tequila was flowing. A girl started talking to me, and the next thing you know, her boyfriend is in my face talking trash. No. I tried to back off, but he took a swing and I caught his fist in my mouth and crushed it with my jaw. And then I shoved a beer bottle down his throat and shattered it. All of a sudden, the place is in an all-out brawl. And let me tell you something, I sent a lot of good people to the hospital that day. And I also sent a lot of bad ones to the cemetery. I was 12 years old. <laughs> Here are the nominees for Best Fight. Best Fight. Daryl Hannah versus Uma Thurman. Bad idea. Kill Bill, Volume 2. <laughs> versus the Emperor's Guards, the House of Flying Daggers. Let's dance, weed. Battle of the News Team. Come on, bitches. Anchorman. Begin! Yeah! Oh. Boy, that escalated quickly. Brad Pitt versus Eric Bell. And the best fight goes to... Daryl Hannah versus Uma Thurman. Kill Bill 2. I lost my voice screaming for Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> Thank my inspiration, The Wicked Witch of the West, played by Margaret Hamilton, who uh, inspired me to be so <laughs> villainous. And, of course, my wicked, childish genius director, Quinn Tarantino. Uma, Uma couldn't be here. She's doing the producers right now, so I'm accepting this award for her. Also, I'm bringing onto the stage... Zoe Bell, who was Uma Thurman's stunt double. Monica Staggs, who was Daryl Hannah's stunt double. By the way, Monica broke her back doing this fight and didn't find out about it until a couple of months later, like now, a couple of months from now, she found out about it. Here we go! The four female Kill Bill stunt Ladies 
ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome back a man whose breath smells like my balls after a long day of soccer, Jimmy Fallon. Real, Real mature, Gary. Real mature. Our next presenter... Suck it, Fallon! I'm sorry, our announcer Gary and I are not on the best of terms. Oh, not on the best of terms, huh? You friggin' whore, I will rip your t off! Gary, not now! Come on, all right? I do not have sex with your girlfriend. Wife, Fallon. She is now my wife. All right. In fact, we're expecting our first child. Oh, congratulations. I haven't seen her in like eight and a half months. How far along is she? Eight and a half months, Jimmy. Eight and a half friggin' months, I'm gonna rip your t off! Now get, I will get, take you individually! Stop right now, you gotta, gotta leave off. your personal life Both at home. Them. Pull it together! You're right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a guy who drinks man chowder by the gallon, Jimmy Rat Penis Fallon. All right, you want a piece of me, Gary? Freak yeah! Well, bring it on, Oh, man. you want me to bring it on? Yeah, I want you to bring it on! Oh, you asked for it? You got it, Turkey! Yeah, come on! Yeah, You're well, he's, here I come. Marcus, help me get my headphones off. Get out here. Here I come. Here get, it is. Go. Oh, yeah, you went to oh, ski Oh, real frightening. Here, here you go. Real frightening. Oh. 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 Yes, man. No. Oh. No. Oh. Yes, man. Oh. oh, Jimmy. You just killed Frankie Munez. No! Up next, Hillary Duff, Dakota Fanning, the award for best female performance at Foo Fighters. I'm looking for Lindsay Lohan. If that dog can hump her, I can hump her. The 2005 MTV Movie Awards, brought to you by L'Oreal Paris, because you're worth it. Taco Bell, think outside the bun. Pontiac, 10 models, each one designed for action. And by Virgin Mobile, Egoism, save. Trust me, this is going to be the best prom ever. Is that the Slauson cutoff we just passed? Because I, I think I just cut off my Slauson. Okay. Old Johnny Carson used to do. Not to get it. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, from the upcoming film, The Man, here is The Man, Samuel L. Jackson! present the award for best female performance. Kids, yes, I am the voice of Frozone in The Incredibles. But no, I cannot shoot icicles out of my eyeballs, and I cannot turn your yard into a skating rink, and I cannot freeze your siblings into a block of ice. And as long as I'm setting the record straight, Star Wars fans, My name is not Master Windu. <laughs> I do own a lightsaber, and it does have the initials BMF engraved on it. <laughs> but no, I cannot use Jedi mind tricks to get you a date. <laughs> However, I do have one power that no one else on the planet has, and that's the power to introduce the beautiful, talented nominees for best female performance. Best Female Performance Lindsay Lohan, Mean Girls I had to pretend to be plastic You're not pretending anymore You're the one who made me like this So you could use me for your 8th grade revenge What? Hillary Swank, Million Dollar Baby I know if you train me right, I'm gonna be a champ I've seen you looking at me 
Yeah, have a pity. Don't you say that if it ain't true. Rachel McAdams, The Notebook. You don't look at Daddy the way I look at Noah. You don't touch or laugh. You don't play. You don't know anything about love. You know what I do when I feel completely unoriginal? Natalie Portman, Garden State. Love, 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 love. I, I make a noise or I do something that no one has ever done before, and then I can feel unique again, even if it's only for, like, a second. Uma Thurman, Kill Bill, Volume 2. You and I have unfinished business. The best female performance goes to... Lindsay Lohan, Mean Girl! that I was in this category with, Hilary Swank. Oh my God, I'm a huge fan of yours. <laughs> um, oh, but thank you. <laughs> um, I want to thank everyone at Disney Pictures um, just for you know guiding me through my career and giving me the opportunity to start acting. Um, and everyone at Paramount, Lauren Michaels, Tina Fey, Mark Waters for directing two amazing movies um, that people actually liked, which is nice. Um, and last but not least, my family, my mom, um, and everyone that voted for me. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, and guys, be careful of the paparazzi. <laughs> Please welcome the star of The Perfect Man, Hillary Duff. performers have produced some of the most dynamic music on the planet. Now they're unleashing a double album entitled In Your Honor, which is half rock and half acoustic and all powerful. Okay, here we go. The Incredible Foo Fighters!
for best movie when the 2005 MTV Movie Awards returns. We ain't got to pay for the food, do we? No, we do. We got to pay for the food? And the drinks. So it's the last award of the evening, and there are only two stars big enough to present it. From War of the Worlds, Dakota Fanning and Tom Cruise. Contract. I have to carry her everywhere. <laughs> From a web sling superhero. To a samurai sword swinging superwoman. To a family named Incredible. To a music legend named Ray. And one guy named Napoleon. Gee. Idiot. <laughs> this, ready? I'm ready. Go ahead. No, together. You said together. No, together. No, no, this. You said you were going to do it together. Isn't this mine? Yeah. This this year's best uh, movie nominees are as different as they are exceptional. But they all have one thing in common. They remind us of why we love to go to the movies. Here are the nominees for best movie. Go get We deserve to die. The best movie is...
Wow. Uh, I just like to thank all the people that really helped this small film become something special. Um, John and, and everybody. Uh, and most importantly, my mom and dad and my lovely wife, Jerusha, who wrote the film with me, and our son, Elliot. Thank you, guys. Funny squeeze. What's this? Hey, buddy. You're fired. Hey, what's your name? Yeah. What's up, huh? Cool. Hey, a party. Oh, I love parties. out there. We got so many uh, cool kids out there rooting for their favorites. A lot of surprises. Yeah. You know? We love the Napoleon. Yes. Took it home. We love the Lindsay. Uh, it was really cool. And Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes. It was kind of fun. You, you, can't, you can't get better than that. So it was fun. It was really yeah. cool to do. It's a lot of running around. It's exciting. How do you think you did? You know, just, you know, just yeah. by yourself. No one else. Yeah, I don't know. I am. Um, hopefully, we get nominated for uh, an Emmy for this award show that we you know. I don't know how we're doing. It's like just fun to do it. Now, backstage, tell me what was your highlight? I mean, there are things I'm sure you saw that that we didn't actually get to see. Uh, you know, you got to see a little. You know, we knew the Tom and Katie. You got to see the Breakfast Club. <laughs> I picked Sandra Bullock's nose, and uh, that was uh, fantastic. Yeah, I couldn't have gone now. That'll go on our highlight reel, by the way. So you know what? I'm gonna buy you your first drink. Congratulations. Welcome to the Poe Show. MTV Movie Award starts right now. Stay Don't tuned. go anywhere. Stay tuned.